distance of ease. Distance of ease. That is what I wish to talk about today. In other words, disease. Though not the disease as you have grown familiar with defining, but with another kind of disease. The distance of ease. And distance of ease is how should we put it? How what could we what could, what could we uh, say about distance of ease? We could say that you can easily be overrun in all areas of your life if you are distant from that which we call easy. Now, easy is a position, so to speak. It's, it's being rightly positioned so that you can do things say things in a effortless manner. So what happens when you have this disease, this distance of ease? Well, the first thing that happens is that you find yourself making blunder after blunder a mistake after mistake, misstep, sidestep, you don't get the point, you don't get the picture, things become very, very unstable, and you lose sense of your reality. The second thing that happens when you catch this disease, this distance of ease, is that um, you... <sighs> don't know what's wrong, you start questioning. Your life becomes one big question mark. You know, there's got to be an answer. Why aren't you like everybody else in terms of, you know, well, not in terms, but in way of progression? Why are you slow? Why are you held back? Why are you in the rear? And the third thing, the third thing, that occurs when you have this disease, this distance of ease, is that you get frustrated, you get angry, you get twitchy, you get moody, you become a dame, you become a horse ass, you yell and overreact, you start insinuating on others, uh, you know, on uh, what they, they are about, what their motives may be. You think for them, you feel for them, you look down on them. Yes. So these three things happen. They occur when you suffer from this disease, this disease of distance of ease. Now what can be done about this disease? What can you do if you contract it? Well, the first thing, the first thing that one can reckon is that, well, you got to make things easier. Okay, well, that's easily, that's, that's, that's easily said, but it's, it's more difficult to do that, to actually make things easier. So you got to look at, well, what is preventing you from making things easier? Well, the first thing are, are these tethers to the past, you know, because it's always somebody else's past, you know, when you catch this disease, contract this disease, this distance of ease, it's always somebody else's past. It's an issue of sentimentality, but not sentimentality for your own desires of possession, but sentimentality for other people's desires of passion, namely your forefathers and foremothers. And 
But what else is, is keeping you from making things easy? Well, it's the sense of loyalty, the sense of honor, honor, I will honor thy, this, that, or the other. It's a mistaken honor, because you can't alter the past. You can't make that relation, connection, any better. You can't make that ride a smoother ride. If it's bumpy, it's bumpy. But its start point, its beginning, is in the past. The place at which it can be altered is in the past. Therefore, you stall the present, the present progress, by contemplating all the time on the past, which you cannot alter in any way whatsoever with current technology. So, so there's honor. There's being honor-bound. This, this adds into this disease, this distance of ease. But it's more than merely being tethered to sentimentality and being honor-bound to protect it. There's also there's also this idea that you have that it makes you a better person that it makes you have more standing, that it, 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 instead of forming your monster without a neck, it forms your monster with a neck, so that you're not just a head on shoulders, but you, you're somebody to chisel, you're somebody to make statuesque. There's this vision of the future attached to this sacred boxing of the past where you you box up everything and you hold on like it's birthday presents or Christmas presents. You found it under the tree. So the vision of the future of you being more than the ordinary layman or laywoman Lay lady. This also plays into why you have this disease, this distance of ease. And so these three things make it difficult for you to make your life easier. Because in order to make your life easier, you, yes you, have to look at the present look at the real world as it is right now, and judge in the spur of the moment, making quick decisions to speed, to rev your engine up, to get things going, to start relating again, connecting again, to bring an opening of possibilities up, creating a doorway through which you can see something positive. And then you won't have the disease anymore once you do that. Once you see the positive possibilities, you will not, you will not have the disease, this distance of ease anymore. You will be free. And wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that be great? You must always remember all the intolerably sick and twisted individuals throughout the catacombs of history who had this disease and never made it better. They never cured themselves, and they marked history with terrible, terrible 
stains of the sort that make you queasy, make you ugh at the past. Don't be like them. Be better than them. And cure yourself of this disease, of this distance of ease. Do yourself that justice. Have a good day. Peace. Meow.